Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you're using Microsoft Edge on Windows and you have suddenly noticed that favorites and bookmarks are appearing in your favorites list that you didn't add or bookmark in the browser, or maybe you are seeing payment info or save passwords appear in the browser that you didn't actually save, then there's a possible reason for this, and it could be that Edge is automatically importing your browsing data over from Google Chrome. And according to reports, this is um, mainly happening on Windows. And if you are running Edge and Chrome side by side or using them on Windows like I do and have them installed on the same OS. Now, um, at this stage, it could be that Microsoft is A-B testing this um, Im importing browsing data feature where your browser will be imported basically over from Google Chrome at each launch or it could be a bug and there are reports that um, this has started happening for some users um, after one of the most recent updates to Microsoft Edge. So if you have been affected by this issue where Edge is auto importing your Google Chrome data, then just a quick video to show you how you can actually turn off the feature uh, if this is inconveniencing you like I think it would if you didn't actually want your browsing data to be imported over from Google Chrome. So to get to uh, the toggle and the switch, uh, we just head to our settings. And yeah, on the Your Profile page, we head to Import Browsing Data. And yeah, you'll see a setting called Import Browsing Data at each browser launch. And it says you always have access to your recent browsing data each time you uh, you browse on Microsoft Edge. Now, for some, this toggle is turned on by default. That's where the issue is lying. And uh, in my case, it hasn't. But if this is turned on, then you just come to this page, as I've shown in the video. You turn this off, and that will stop uh, Microsoft Edge from auto-importing your browsing data at each browser launch when you are using Microsoft Edge. And obviously, you have Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome simultaneously installed on the same OS. So I just wanted to point that out because there are reports that this is happening for some users and this is how you resolve the issue if you are affected. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.